Holly from WRT and today Simon and I are out monitoring again setting up some equipment for the Secret Creek beaver monitoring so there's an enclosure just behind me here you can see all that fencing and in there are two a pair of beavers beavering away building their dams they've already started so water's starting to pull a bit upstream now we're upstream of their um, enclosure and we've put in some uh, level a level sensor and um, an auto sampler which you can see just up there behind me that drum type thing and I'm going to show you how these work. Simon and I have put in some monitoring to look at the upstream and downstream um, effects of beaver activity so obviously they're building their dams they're changing the level of the water and also we're trying to look at how their dams affect the water quality, so bacterial counts and, um, and nutrients and things like that, sediment retention. So what we've got here is an auto sampler and inside here is a series of bottles that can be filled uh, from a tube that runs down and just sucks water up, so it pumps water up and fills up the bottles at set intervals throughout a storm event so we can look at how water quality changes with rainfall, which is really cool. So that's one part of it. And the other part that we have constantly is down here. I'm going to take you down and have a look and show you what our water level sensor does. Okay, so here's our level sensor. So you can't see it here. It's sitting inside this pipe, this perforated pipe. And it just sits there on a, on a loop of string and um, sits about 10 centimetres under the water at the moment. Um, and obviously as this water level changes, that is picked up by the sensor, which is recording, it's literally taking recording every 15 minutes with data, which it feeds to the telemetry device here, or mace box, and that then pings the data over the network to, um, to an online platform, HydroView, where you can view the data in near real time. So that's sending data every three hours at the moment. And if we go up here, we can actually, on the front, we can actually get live readings. In fact, I'll show you. Here. On the front of this box, we can see what the last reading was. So we've got pressure in centimetres of water, which will be about the same as depth. It's quite high temperatures, it's really warm at the moment. And depth is 11 centimetres. So, let's see how it goes.